say you're painting the outside of your house and you need to mask your windows and other things like the lights around your soffit. One of the ways to do it quickly and easily, even if, you, even if you're a do-it-yourselfer, is to invest in this tool. This is a hand masker. It's probably one of the top three tools of a professional painter. It's made by 3M and what it does is simply to allow you, the painter, to mask straight lines, uh, obstacles in your painting area like lights and stuff really quickly. I'll show you what I'm talking about. If you come in here, show them this unsightly crooked line. This crooked line is because the person who painted this allowed the texture on this house to govern. As you can see, my hand is bumping up and down. And that's what the painter allowed. It's shoddy work. And so when you're doing a repaint, if you want to make this look right, this is how you do it. You're going to take a piece of masking and you're going to take into account the last painter's mistake and you're going to make it uh, look right. And I'll show you what I mean. Don't try to remove that paint if you are a perfectionist. All you want to do here is take your masking paper and to create an illusion that you have uh, a straight line on the block. Really, it's going to be a straight line on the window. But since the painter painted the window, we're going to make it right. And this is the way you would do it. The worst of it is right here, wouldn't you agree? That's 3 16 of an inch of the block paint onto the window. Just take a look up and down. Here it's a quarter of an inch. So what you want to do is, since it's a quarter of an inch onto the window, you're going to make your paint line a quarter of an inch onto the window. The way to do it is to take your masking and bring it out past the paint line. Of course, during the video, the wind starts blowing. But we'll try to get this on. You can now imagine how much better that's going to look by having the block paint on the window frame rather than having a squiggly line of window frame paint all, you know, crooked. Okay. And so, of course, if you're spraying, you want to tack this down in various places because this will come up because the pressure from the paint coming out of the sprayer will cause you to have a breach in your surface and then you'll be getting paint on your window. So you want to tack this down. But the idea of this video is to show you how to make straight lines, how to make crooked lines straight. So there you have it. And of course, since the hand masker doesn't allow you to get to the edge, you're just going to continue that straight line with a piece of tape in there. And now you can see that I've brought the paint out a quarter of an inch onto the window frame. You see? And so now, rather than having this crooked line, I'm going to fill this all in now and make it, you know, nice and straight. Let me show you. I'm going to spray it, but I brought my brush out just to do the corners. Now you get the idea. Now, if you noticed in the video, I pressed down on that tape hard. I would not normally just do that. I would caulk. I would put caulking right over the edge of my tape 
to clog the tape so that the paint doesn't get underneath it. If you try to do this like this, you might get paint underneath the tape because you weren't thinking. But if you're a pro, you know what I'm talking about. You'll caulk it so that it, it prevents what's called bleeding underneath the tape. But there you have it. That's how you make a crooked line straight. Thanks for watching. Please click on like, subscribe to my channel, and do me a favor and hit that bell. And then at the top, it says all. Click on the all so that you get all my video notifications. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.